Quotes and comments from Adolf Hitler were once used to motivate cadets training to be Kentucky State Police officers. Now, they were removed from all training materials in 2013, but they're causing uh, a significant uproar today. That's because the uh, they were released late last week by a high school student newspaper. Local 12's James Pilcher joins us live now from the Breaking News Center with how the students got them and what they said. James? The student journalist at DuPont Manual High School in Louisville got the documents from a lawyer. Now, that lawyer represents the family of a man killed by Kentucky State Police in 2018. Now, these are pictures from that presentation, which was created in 2013. It's called The Warrior Mindset. Now, the students posted it on their Manual Red Eye website last week. These training materials feature two separate slides, including quotes from Hitler. It also included quotes from other controversial historical figures, such as Attila the Hun and Confederate General Robert E. Lee. That quote was part of a slide called the Thin Gray Line, taken by some to be sympathetic to Confederate causes. The presentation also encourages cadets to be ruthless killers and includes the phrase Uber Alice, which is some have linked to neo-Nazi groups in recent years. Governor Andy Bashir addressed the controversy today during his coronavirus briefing. To our um, brothers and sisters in the Jewish community in Kentucky, this should have never happened. And we are committed this administration is committed to making sure that not only does this never happen in the future, but that we repair any damage done in the past. Uh, we're not going to rest until we fix this. Um, and and uh, we are going to continue to work uh, to rectify again um, something that's absolutely wrong. And and unacceptable. To Bashir's point, he and Kentucky safety cabinet officials are saying they're doing a top to bottom review of all their training materials, even though they say that this particular presentation was only given once in 2013. And of course, we'll stay on top of that progress as it continues. Live in the breaking news center, James Pilcher, Local 12 News.